Welcome to Barbecue Food For You, the Backyard Barbecue Show. I'm Jason King. Today I'm going to be showing everyone how to cook up breakfast bombs. First, let's look at the ingredients and the equipment you need to get this recipe together. For this recipe, all you're gonna need is two large russet potatoes, one package of Johnsonville's original breakfast sausages, 12 slices of bacon, four large eggs, cheese is optional, this is mozzarella, I'm gonna shred it up. The only equipment you need is aluminum foil. First thing, let's go outside, get a barbecue fired up. And I'll answer the question, yes, this recipe can be done in an oven, but the barbecue's better. Today I'll be cooking on the Weber 22 and a half inch kettle filled with hardwood lump charcoal. Just use a fire starter cube, let that get going, and we'll go inside and get everything prepped. The prep works real easy. Give the potatoes a wash and pat them dry with paper towels. Go up the end about an inch and cut it straight off, both sides. And then find the center, chop it in half. Do that to the next one. Take the cut potatoes, just wrap them up in the aluminum foil. Once you have a nice hot bed of coals, place the potatoes directly on. Come out about every five minutes and give them a flip. After 20 minutes, pull the potatoes off the barbecue. Adjust the vents so your barbecue is running at 325 degrees. With the potatoes hot off the barbecue, let them cool down for at least 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to take the Johnsonville breakfast sausages and take the meat out of the casing. To do that, just make a slice across the top. The casing will just peel off. Place the meat in a bowl. Once the potatoes have cooled down enough to handle them, take a small knife, just go around the outside and cut a hole, even around a quarter to half inch of the potato on the outside. Then just take a spoon and carefully dig it out. The stuff you dig out, set aside in a bowl for later use. So you can see it's fairly easy. Just want to go through, put the spoon down the sides, remove the excess potato, and try not to poke through the bottom. So just take your time, get these all prepped, and I'll be right back. Here's a quick peek at the potatoes all hollowed out. Hope you can see that. And a little trick, if you can start to see light through the bottom, you know you're getting close, it's a good time to stop. Season the potatoes we took out with one tablespoon of seasoned salt and half a tablespoon of black pepper. Give that a good mix and just set it aside. Now take the hollowed out potato and the Johnsonville breakfast sausages and just start building a wall on the inside. It's probably not going to be the best for video with my hands in here, but I'll get her done. So I'll just go along and place it on the side of the potato, just gently pressing it down. To the bottom, all the sides. All the potatoes are filled with sausage with a nice hole left in the middle. Crack your egg in a small dish just in case it's bad and then just simply pour it in. Get the rest of these done. Take the rest of the Johnsonville breakfast sausage, just flatten it out. And just make a lid. Pressing down. Some egg might come out, it's not a big deal. Just try not to break the yolk. Now time for the bacon. Three strips for each one. Simply start at the bottom. Wrap it all the way around. Looping over it, and just continue going around the same piece. Stick on there, bang. Next one, work your way up a little bit. Go around the potato, sausage, and there's an egg in there. <laughs> and the last one, I'm gonna get it up around the sausage here. So once this cooks, we'll have a nice little pocket here. 
you shouldn't need to use toothpicks you can if you want to so get the last one done we'll go get these out on the barbecue barbecue is preheated to 325 degrees going to add a few chunks of apple wood for a little bit of smoke push that one up after then take the breakfast bombs just place them on the void side of the cooker get the lid shut let them cook it's that easy for the part of the potatoes that were taken out earlier simply spread them out and then split them into four just eyeball it and then just roll it into a ball take a sheet of aluminum foil give it a quick spray with some pan cooking spray then just take the potatoes press them down while keeping them round, almost like you're making a burger. All done, now we got four nice potato patties. Take your cooking spray, just spray the top. After half an hour, the breakfast bombs are looking great. To get these on, place them on a cutting board, just slide them on over the direct heat and keep a close eye on them. These still need a bit more time, get the lid on, let everything cook. Feel free to use any type of sauce that you like to taste. Sticking with the breakfast theme, I got some good old maple syrup and I'm gonna kick it up with Uncle Nathan's ghost pepper sauce. Now this sauce does have a little bit of heat. It's also got pineapples, onions, garlic, just loaded with flavor. So I have half a cup of maple syrup. To that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of Uncle Nathan's hot sauce. Sweet with a little bit of heat, give it a little bit of a kick. So just give that a good mix. After 45 minutes, everything's looking good. Hash browns are done, ready to come off. You can see we broke a couple eggs, but everything's good. Sausage is up to temperature. Now just give it a coat of the hot sauce and the maple syrup. And then I'll top it with some of that mozzarella cheese. Take the shredded cheese, just make like a little patty, and set it right on top. Go through, get the rest of these done. Hot off the barbecue, check these out. Let's cut into one, see how they look. If this recipe looks good, be sure to hit the subscribe button, give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and be sure to share it with your family and friends on social media. Now, let's slice it right down the middle. To get the breakfast bomb plated, I placed it on top of one of the hash browns. Now, let's slice it right down the middle. Take a peek how it looks. Check that out. Got that nice potato, Johnsonville breakfast sausage, an egg, bacon on the outside with that sweet spicy glaze and a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Gonna top it with a little bit more of that maple syrup and give it a taste. Breakfast bombs are done and it's time to eat. I hope everyone gives this recipe a try. For more information, check out my website, bbqfoodforyou.com. Now, time to dig in. It's easy to do, barbecue food for you. Give it a try. Thanks so much for watching this video and be sure to check out all the other great barbecue video recipes.